is the scene of zebra using well one of the signboards that direct you to the camps and also to tell you that you cannot off-road on the other side of that sign as a scratching post you got to do what you got to do to reach a niche and that's obviously be quite nice it's concrete as well so that must be very nice to, to sort of scratch on no, I'm just looking around me because I can hear the impala starting to alarm and the buffalo have all got their heads raised so I wonder who's moving about in the area but the zebra seem to be quite relaxed if there was potentially a predator around I don't think that they'd be worried about an itchy bottom or an itchy armpit that must be a very hard and awkward place to reach and that's also where all the ticks would be uh, congregating too is underneath the <laughs> underneath the front legs and in between the back legs oh look at the one on the right she's having she's sitting on it let's see if she does it again she's just about sat on top of that sign i'd like to see one of them jump over that would be fantastic <laughs> i love it when animals do this this is so great from rolling around in the sand and then of course to seeing them scratching is always always a pleasant surprise Oh, yes, that's the spot. <laughs> and the little one getting involved now. I wonder if they can read what's on the signs. I mean, we should put another one there. What would be really funny is if they put up a sign that said no scratching and then having the zebra scratching over the top of it. That would be the best. Oh, wow, look, the one on the left is really stretched over now. doing yoga positions and getting a belly rub at the same time <laughs> does that feel nice zebras you're all fighting over scratching posts now and they're like you've had your five minutes frank get out of here it's my turn jersey lady you've said what a very useful sign it is indeed well particularly to the zebras but i'm sure you'll find lots of different animals doing this from elephants to buffalo to rhinos warthog might even come up and have a little scratch everybody would make use of this rubbing post so not all things that uh, we put in natural areas such as a signboard um well it seems to benefit the animals in some way <laughs> the technique. I didn't know zebra were that flexible, to be honest. Come on, who's going to stand up on the sign, though? Somebody needs to do that for us. Front feet up, and then wave. Oh, everyone's getting bored now. Just a couple making the most of it. And it's also caked in mud, you can see, so you can't really see. So if I were to off-road there, I suppose I'd say, I just didn't see the sign. I'm just joking, I won't. I know I'm not allowed to go there. So I won't be breaking the rules. Oh, this is great. You might even, Can you hear the sound of them rubbing? Or was it a bit too yeah. faint? Very, very soft, but you can hear that sort of rubbing sound against the concrete. Oh, that must feel so satisfying. There we go. No, not finished yet. Get the other side. They're very clever. They must do this quite often because they've got the technique down well. So I reckon every time they pass through here, there's actually a queue. Craig, have you seen the next set of zebras waiting to come in for their chance? I think they say you can only have so many zebras coming through at a time using that rubbing post. Let's see if anyone's going to make their way towards us. No, that, that's the rolling section apparently. So you roll first, you get covered in dust, and then you make your way to the signs. You have a scratch, uh, and then I think you're allowed to pass and you're allowed to carry on and go and graze and make your way toward the river and perhaps have a drink down there too. But they're very slow. I mean, they haven't been given the go-ahead yet to make more to come on through oh it looks like we've got all these little canaries down here look at all of these yellow things ah, and of course as i said that they f i pointed at them and they flew away i think they were little canaries of some sort they were lovely vibrant yellow and green and i think they were coming down to have a drink Wait, are they coming back oh, they are They're actually down on front in the mud wallow again hopefully i'm not gonna ah hopefully they're not. yes hello look how pretty they are 
we're so close to the car as well, which is quite nice, which can, oh, it affords us to get these close sort of views. Oh, jumping even closer. Don't go there. Come to a little bit to the left, please, so you don't get in the way of the car, because I won't be able to start the car. Otherwise, they're going to get a fright. So that's my windscreen that you're seeing there. Birds don't know that, though. Yes, that's a little bit better. We're coming down to have a drink. And I suppose it's better to come down in a group rather than just on your own because there will be many of you to keep an eye out. But they're very nervous around water, as they should be. Okay, there's many cars coming through. 